A water taxi carries passengers from harbor to another. Assume that weights of passengers are normally distributed with a mean of 201 pounds and a standard deviation of 40 pounds. The water taxi has a stated capacity of 25 passengers and the water taxi was rated for a load limit of 3,750 pounds. Complete parts A through D below. Well, the first question is asking us, it says, given that the water taxi was rated for a load limit of 3,750 pounds, what is the maximum mean weight of the passengers if the water taxi is filled to the stated capacity of 25 passengers? So, what we're going to do is we're first going to calculate the maximum mean weight. So in order to do that, we're going to take the following values. We're going to take 3,750 and then we're going to divide that by the 25 passengers. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we take 3,750. We're going to divide that by 25 and that gives us 150. So therefore the maximum mean weight is 150 pounds. Okay, now it says if the water taxi is filled with 25 randomly selected passengers, what is the probability that their mean weight exceeds the value from part A? Okay, so in this scenario, Okay, it says according to the central limit theorem, since the original population has a normal distribution, the sample means will have a normal distribution with the mean of the following and the standard deviation, where we know that the mean is the population mean, and we know that the standard deviation is the population standard deviation, and n represents the sample size. So let's go ahead and then draw a picture so we know what they're asking first. So we want to draw our bell curve. Okay, so the mean is given to be 201. So we know that the mean of our sample means is 201. Okay, we also know that the standard deviation that's given is 40 pounds. Okay, so we want to say, okay, um, what is the probability that their mean weight exceeds the value from part A? So what does exceed mean? Well, that means greater than 150. So we want to note where 150 is on our graph here. So we can say that 150 is located here. So X is going to equal 150. And then what we want to do is we want to find the area to the right of that. Okay, so now let's write down the given information. We know the value of x is 150. We know the mean of the sample means is 201. We know the value of n is 25 because it says it fills with 25 randomly selected passengers. And then the standard deviation of the sample means is the formula standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So therefore, we know that that's going to be 40 divided by the square root of 25. And so now we can go ahead and then plug it into our formula. So let's go ahead and do that. So to find the z-score, it's equal to the value of x minus the mean of the sample means over the standard deviation of the sample means. So we know we have 150 minus 201, and then we're going to divide that by 40 over the square root of 25. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug that in our calculator. Parentheses 150 minus 201, close the parentheses, divided by, open parentheses, 40, divided by the square root of 25. Oops square root of 25 and then parenthesis and then we get a z-score right into two decimal places of negative 6.38 so negative 
Okay, so now we want to be able to find that probability of that z-score. So on the z-axis, we know that the mean here is 0, and we know that the z-score for the 150 is negative 6.38. So what we want to do is we want to find the probability of when z is going to be greater than or equal to negative 6.38. All right, so let's go ahead and then open up StatCrunch. Okay, I'm going to go to Stat, Calculators, and then scroll down to Normal. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have the mean of 0, standard deviation is 1. And then the inequality symbol should go to the right because we want to find the area to the right. And then we also want to put in our z-score of negative 6.38. And that gives us 1. So that means we get an area or a probability of 1.0000. So let's go ahead and put that in there to check our result. 1.0000. And there is our probability. Now it says if the weight assumptions were revised so that the new capacity became 20 passengers and the taxi is filled with 20 randomly selected passengers, what is the probability that their mean weight exceeds 187.5 pounds, which is the maximum mean weight that does not cause the total load to exceed 3,750 pounds? Okay, so in this case here, what we're going to do is now we're going to have to look at a different graph. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw our bell curve for this example. Okay, so here's our bell curve. Again, we know that the mean is 201. We know that our standard deviation is given to be 40 pounds. Okay, and then in this question, they're asking us to says, uh, what is the probability that their mean weight exceeds 187.5? So that means that x is now going to be over here where x is equal to 187.5 and we want to find out what would be the probability when it exceeds that which means it's greater than that value. Okay, So now let's go ahead and find the z-score so we know the following. We know that the value of x now is 187.5. We know that the mean of the sample means is 201. We know the value of n now is 20 according to that question. And then the standard deviation is going to be the standard, de uh, standard deviation of the sample means is the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. And so in this case, it's going to be 40 divided by the square root of 20. So now let's go ahead and solve that z-score. So z is going to equal x minus the mean of the sample means divided by the standard deviation of the sample means. <clears throat> excuse me. So we have <clears throat> excuse me, 187.5 minus 201 divided by 40 over the square root of 20. So let's find out what that z-score is going to be. <clears throat> so we have 1 in parentheses, 187.5 minus 201. And then we're going to divide that in parentheses, 40 divided by the square root of 20. And that gives us a z-score around it to two decimal places of negative 1.51. So now we know that on our z-axis, the mean now is 0, and then 187.5 has a z-score of negative 1.51. So what we want to do is find the probability of when z is greater than or equal to negative 1.51. And then again, we're going to use StatCrunch for that. So... Here we have StatCrunch. 
Okay, we know that we want to have the mean of zero standard deviation of one. We're pointing the arrow to the right, and now we want to be able to find the area of when the z-score is greater than negative 1.51. And so rounding that to four decimal places, we get 0 0.9345, 0 0.9345. Let's go ahead and put that in here. 0 0.9345. And there is our result. Now it's saying that is the new capacity of 20 passengers safe? Okay, so we would say that the water taxi will be overloaded if the mean weight of the passengers is above the maximum allowed mean weight. If we change this 0 0.9345 to a percentage, this would be 90, it'd be over 93.45%. Okay, so since the probability of overloading is over 50%, the new capacity does not appear to be safe enough.